All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the R44 YouTube channel. Today, again, we are at Tom's place. Tom is, I think, one of the kind of one of the coolest like kind of workshops slash dyno slash tuning setups here in the uk it's got a nice setup a lovely array of cars behind me um to behind us is his workshop and then the dyno setup but more importantly it's m3 time so tom has rebuilt all of my f8 engine and tuned it with his hybrids and now it's time that we work on the ga m3 so tom we've got to unlock the ecu that's the yeah. biggest scare with these cars is yeah, getting definitely. into the ecu so our fun fact do they come fully locked um, there's not there's only one person in the world that can unlock them at the moment a company called Fento in Finland uh, so the first process is to send the ECU over there um, with DHL offering a great service it can be done sort of two to three days there and back if it all goes to plan but we normally say allow a week just to cover yourself off so if you're dropping a car on a Sunday generally picking it up on a Friday or the following Monday worst case scenario without including the tuning as well um, once it comes back on lot, nothing will change on the car initially. It'll just enable us to flash the car with MHD. And then from there, we can tune on the dyno and on the road and, and get that perfect tune on the car. Yeah, so what we've done, obviously, as you've seen just now, we have unlocked, sent our ECU off. So Tom organized everything from our side. We just did it at our, our workshop. And this is a service that we're going to kind of offer yeah. more in Tom's. So you could drop your car off. Up at yours yeah, well. either do it at ours. If you're in London and you need to do something, but we can work that out. Um, but the main thing is we're going to offer a service that you can drop your car off anywhere and it can be unlocked and mapped. So first thing first, this car is completely stock. It's got yep. an MPE rear back box. So this is the biggest rip off, I think, from BMW. <laughs> they offer this titanium exhaust that is literally from the big udder that's at the back is titanium and it has four tips in the middle. So that came on my car. Um, it's still got resonators, OPF, secondary cats, primary cats, stock intakes. And that's, that's it. bone stock car. Bone stock. Just it's unlocked. Just unlocked. First time I've driven it, it's probably got 2,000 miles, hopefully, on it. Yep. Um, so now it's unlocked. We are now going to take it into Tom's dyno, and Tom's going to show you through uploading like MHD on it. We're going to put Tom's and Mike Ball's stage one map on yep. it and see what it runs. So we'll run it from stock to stage one and just, just see what we run, really. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Um, seeing quite good gains, I'll be honest. Um, they are making a bit over 510 standard generally. Um, I think, yeah, around 580, 590, just on a map. Um, about 200 more newtons of torque as well, so a real jump in torque. We've also got some really good gearbox software Mike's developed. Um, it uses elements of, a, uh, of the actual CSL, which we've adapted to work with X-Drive, but then he's also put a lot of extra features in there, and it's enabled us to get some of the fastest times in the UK and some of them in Europe already with this platform. So the shifts will be so crisp, it'll be uh, phenomenal. That's wicked. So that's good to see. So yeah, a bit on the spec, this is an X-Drive car, so we previously yeah. had the real drive, but we yeah, got the X-Drive so we can really push this year we are going to push in line with tom yeah. tuning we we've done the styling obviously the car looks pretty cool um but tuning is our yeah, new definitely. thing so we'll do a stage one and then i'm excited to try the stage two because our cars always run Comes a sports alive. car unbelievable Gosh, i can't wait and then we might as well send it to the moon after that and put some hybrids <laughs> on it but yeah it. let's leave it with tom let's hit the dyno and let's see what we can Welcome back, everybody. We are now in the dyno cell. The car's just been run out, so we ran stock, um, and then just, what did we run? What was the stage one? So, yeah, so stock power, um, 462 at the wheels, um, 607 torque. Um, realistically, we calculate a 12% loss on this dyno. Um, so that came out at 517 stock, which is about right sort of thing. Stage one, um, yeah, super impressive, really. Uh, 588 at the wheels and 620 
no, 820, eight? sorry. What am I wow. About? Doing myself down. So, but I mean, as you can see, the power band, it's the whole way through the revs, obviously the blue is the tuned version. Um, so, percentage wise on that is doing some quick maths, it's about 630, something about that sort of thing. So 630. Just, that's purely a tune, nothing else done to this car. Um, and that is a very strong stage one in fairness. So, really, really impressed. Um, nice smooth power band as well. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. But like I said, as you can see, it's improvements huge. It's, uh, 120 brake horsepower and 220 nm. 220 nm. That is, so, you'll feel uh, that, yeah, especially yeah. on the X Drive. You can put it down at least. So yeah. that's stage one, just an unlocking service and a stage one map. Um, potential you got. We're also doing the gearbox now as well. We're just uh, flashing the gearbox on it. So that's um, the next big thing, I guess, trying to get yeah. the ZF box just to run. We've got it perfect now. Um, between. Me and Mike with our development cars, um, the shifts are unbelievable. Like mm -hmm. I said, there's, there's a bit of CSL stuff in there, which Mike's got, uh, but obviously with the CSL being rear-wheel drive only, getting it to work on X drive, but it isn't just CSL stuff, it's Mike's tweaked it all, but there is a little bit of German CSL engineering in there as well. So. Perfect, so plan now, Dylan will have to confirm, it's now stage two time, I think. It's time yeah. we ramp it up, let's get really some... To real send it, let's get some supporting mods on it because um, you can just run it stage one. We've increased the burbles as well, so yeah. you'll see on the dyno as it lets off and it revs through the gears, yeah. you can hear it burbling. That's pretty nice from just a stock exhaust pretty much and like a slightly tuned back box yeah. um, from M, M Performance. But yeah, we're now going to get it in the workshop. We're going to put sports cats on it, a mid pipe, some drop in filters and uh, send it to the moon with the um, gearbox map and then get some draggy times in stage two because primarily our customers and most people want to go to that stage two. Uh, stage yeah, one's no, good, but if you're going to unlock the ECU, I think, yeah, and put that effort in. The, the whole hog. The extra mile. We're going to put sports cats on it, so I think it's the first car maybe that yeah, you've Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, full decat. It's not for faint hearted on these, they're extremely loud. Like, obviously, the old F series, you decat them, stock exhaust was all right. You have to take the OPS out of these, so you, you have to do the middle section. Yeah. If you do downpipes as well, it isn't for the faint heart. So the sports cats could work really nicely. We're in London, so we get yeah. the city customers and yeah. things like that. So sports cats and MOT friendly as well. Obviously. Exactly like that. And it's yeah, so that's our, our 44 sports cats. But let's get in the workshop and talk more about that. Can you hear that? Well, you can't, but that's the F80 just finished revving up. Sounds I just can't wait to go over that side of things. But G80 M3 is now done. Stage one is complete here at Tom Riggie Performance. Um, I didn't really do anything. We just took the ECU out. So stage one offering for this car is going to be in the link below. You just hit that link and the price will include the unlocking service as well as the mapping. It's all will be detailed in the description. So any information you need and a link to this video. So if you find it through the website, then you're actually watching this video for that reason, or you found the video first, whatever way. So the, the best process pretty much is you can either come here, leave your car at Tom's place. Um, Tom is in Wales, so if you're looking at England, he's up on the left-hand side. But obviously, we're located in this heart of London um, and quite connected north to south. Um, so the best kind of option, really, is come down to us, drop us the car. We need it between about three to five days. Um, it's all just managed by DHL, pretty much. But you drop the car down, my team will remove the ECU and send it off to Fento. We get it unlocked, Fento return it to us. We then put the ECU back in. The car will operate exactly the same as normal. From there, you then will then, at the same kind of time of the process, booking the car in, we'll book it in with Tom. So then you'll have a date to come up here to Tom's place. Tom will then get it on the dyno, run it in stock, make sure the car is running smooth. He'll then upload his maps that he, you know, the stage one map run it up again on the dyno, he'll go take it up on the road, do some road testing, tweak the map accordingly. We'll not do the mapping at our place because it's so important the car goes on rolling road and then goes on the real road. So for Tom to get it signed off, make sure he's happy, and then you can drive away. This way, if you're more in London or it's easier connected to London, you can drop the car off. You'll then have to leave the car with us. Um, but then when you come to Tom, He's a little bit more secluded from the city, um, but you can just stay here for the day, talk to Tom, see your car run up on the dyno, kind of enjoy yourself, and then drive home with a seriously fast car. So to recap, stage one's now complete. I think he's running about 630 brake horsepower. Um, we will overlay the dyno graphs now, and it's at 818 Newton meters, so it's extremely powerful. Um, but yeah, we'll recap this. Um, but anyways, anything, I'm gonna leave that there, and I'm gonna go and map my car to stage two.